Hello everybody and welcome back to the PV Perium channel. How are you all? You look beautiful today. Did anybody tell you that? Oh! Is that a new haircut? Oh, I bet it is. Anyway, here we are in the battle for Gaius Naeus. It's Latin name, of course, for battle for Gilneus. I know some of the educated few of you would have uh, would have probably already got that. Now, uh, there's been a little bit of a delay between this video and the last. You see, here at PVPHQ, we we like to spend the maximum amount of time in uh, research and development. So all the bods here at PVPHQ have been working hard, making countless notes on ways in which we can improve this very channel. Uh, and in fact, this uh, video you're watching now, you know, it, how can we improve it? We think of everything from the color to the... Uh, um, some of the stuff I say, maybe. You know, like everything. It blows blown my mind. Um, Unfortunately, the post-it note we wrote that on blew out the window. Uh, you know, everyone, uh, everyone in the office is gutted. Uh, and now we could have started again, like you know, with the research and development. But to be, to be honest, we thought, do you know what? Let's just chuck out another shit one. And here it is. And on that theme, actually, for some reason, this battleground doesn't have any battle sound effects. Like the actual game sound effects have just fucked off. I don't know where they've gone. Maybe I mean, it's been pretty grotty in England at the moment. Maybe they've just decided to go on a holiday. Uh, maybe somewhere like um, Bude or Butlins, which is actually a shithole at any time of the year. Don't ever go there. Um, and, um, yeah, I don't know. But they've gone. Um, so, you know, we, we had a meeting. It was discussed. And what we decided was, so that you don't feel too short-changed by not having any battle sound effects, perhaps every now and then I should make the odd battle sound effect myself um, so that, you know, you, you don't feel that you're missing it. So every now and then, if you hear like a Whoa! ching, 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 that's probably me hitting um somebody with maybe um chainmail like this guy. Ching, ching, ching. Oh, I'm stunned. Ching, 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 ching. So that that you might get that. So that's what that is. Just as a heads up. So here we are, Gaius Naeus. Um, we're reckoning at about 1,700 rating. I say reckon. I'm sure most of you watching this um are way above that. Maybe even as high as 1,701. But uh, but but not all of you. Some of you may even be impressed by this. Um, we we've <laughs> we we had a good spell actually of going up through the ladder. We've peaked. It's fair to say, and we are well and truly on the way back down again. The shaman is he about to bum me? Oh, cloak of shadows, don't you know? <laughs> uh, on this road, actually, I have a theory. Having watched this video back in my you know immense preparation for for doing one of these videos, I have a feeling this shaman was probably their battleground leader because most of the time when we start hitting him, except here, now I'm actually talking about it, um, they peel for him like a motherfucker. They do. He just gets all the best cooldowns out of everybody. This guy. So I think he was probably leading the battleground. He was doing a shit ton of damage as well. We smoke bombed him there because he was being a cunt. Um, anyway, so uh, the plan is here. What we always do, strategy-wise, I usually try and give you a little bit of strategy, even though nobody has got a fucking clue what's going on. Um, we start off the um, the battleground when we're running in for our first attack, or rather when we're waiting for the gates to open. We always have what we call a bug out team, and that consists of one healer and two DPS, which are able to get out of combat the, uh, the easiest. On this, it was myself. I'm a rogue, so I can try and use Vanish um, to get out of combat. And we also have a Frost Mage, and of course, we use our Monk Healer to run out because um, because of roll, uh, they're able to get out of combat usually quite quickly. Uh, and that bug out team, the idea is if we start mopping up at this base, for instance, uh, you know, we we are either I don't know, just outmanning them or something, or they, all their healers are down and we think they are going to regroup and go for an attack at Lighthouse. We will tend to try and say, right, bug out team, go. Everybody else stays, but those three are able to get a little bit of a heads up on the um, on the uh, possible ink. Uh, other than that, we have um, uh, our lovely man Strummer, our hunter. He is currently guarding the Lighthouse. Somebody's got to do it, and he was uh, he was a very he was a big man about it. He's like he stepped up, took one for the team because boring as fuck standing there doing nothing. We're a bit concerned in this one because you can see on battleground targets in the top right, they are running double rogue, double priest, double warlock, which means a fuck ton of fears uh, and stuns. It also means they have one rogue, which can purely he's he just dedicated to trying to finger Strummer. Actually, 
fingering him. Sometimes in the mouth, sometimes in the nostril. There was rumours of a belly button being touched. But nevertheless, fingering took place. And we don't like that. Um, we, uh, I was calling targets when I was here. And the idea was that, um, and again, if you look at Battleground targets in the top right, you can see um, people that pe Pepper Furax, or whatever his fucking name is. This guy that we're killing here at the moment, he's got a lot of people f uh, looking at him because they are, uh, they're targeting him as well. Um, so that's how you can, you can kind of monitor our switches. That's if the actual, I don't know, the fucking... Oh, a 45 second res! Is there anything worse? Bastards! Anyway... So, uh, yeah, so that's what we've been trying to do at the moment, is we have to take down at least one healer, because we, we can't out-DPS the heals that three healers can put into anything else that we try to kill. Uh, we've been toying with the idea of getting Strummer to go from a Hunter to a Feral, so that me and the Feral can attack one healer, the group can attack a third one, because uh, our team is notoriously shite at, at um, uh, crowd control. We all moan about it, how overpowered it is, and yet none of us do it. We're just shit, honestly. Um, so yeah, that, that's been one idea we're playing with, but at the moment, as it stands, uh, actually, I'm a, an assassination rogue in this. Um, I have since, and very, very recently, gone um, subspect because it just seems to be putting out some massive damage. There was reports of a rogue being here, so I've just rezzed. I'm going to hang around here for a minute because Amberix has died, you see. I'm going to wait. There we go. Now he should be back in less than 20 seconds, which means I run away because um, Strummer reckons he can hold up for 20 seconds. So I then run away to get back to the battle again, so I can start target calling, and uh, Strummer tries to find the rogue. Uh, so yeah, that was basically happening in the background, this entire battleground, and uh, yeah, Strummer just kept getting harassed by this rogue. So, but because it was only one rogue, rather than sending the entire get out team. Uh, if anyone died, they, their job was to assist Lighthouse immediately, or we got uh, one of our healers to run back. In that instance, it was a healer that had died, so he was able to go back immediately. So anyway, we're back here. They've got the priest, or well, the two priests, and the paladin here, so we pu started pumping into him immediately. It was amazing how many bubbles this fucker had. He always seemed to have something. Um, like, he, uh, I don't know if you've just seen BlizzCon. I'm actually quite impressed about the new expansion. Some law for us to give a shit about for a change. Oh my god, the warriors on the flag! Oh, somebody's going. Um, yeah, I really like the, like the warlords of Draenor or Dranor. Uh, yeah. And anyway, I really like that idea. It's, you know, like, because you know, like, I got to mop, and all the characters are a little bit new and stuff like that. And I, I like all the old lore stuff, and I didn't really give a shit about many of the new ones. Like since Arthas, I didn't really give a fuck about Deathwang either. I thought he was a bit boring. See, look, he just got a life swap. This fucking guy. Anyway, um, yeah, I still I still reckon he was like their li their leader. And also, when we started killing him, that was when their team kind of went to shit. So we just called a very quick switch onto this paladin because he was looking low. Paladin's dead. He has just used his life swap on that um, elemental or enhancement rather. No, it was elemental shaman. So we're gonna pummel into him now. And there's currently four people attacking him and some other people. The only people that aren't attacking him are trying to pump out some crowd control, or it might be um, the odd healer. Ooh, caught in a stun and a fear. That's very thorough. All right, so we'll get over to him now. Do I bother using a smoke bomb on him? No, he's too dead. Um, so that's a paladin and uh, a priest that we've just killed. So hopefully we should be able to get this priest down. Oh no, no, no! At this point, because we've killed both of their two of their three healers, we now start switching to DPS uh, because our DPS can out DPS their heals, as it were. And that's the theory, anyway. It doesn't often work, but um. Yeah, so we switched immediately to that, and who's just accidentally clicked on the portal? Brilliant, that's helped us a lot. And somewhere in the midst of all this, it was actually one of the times when I was sat at the graveyard, um, Amberix, our holy paladin, has managed to claim the waterworks, which I think is fucking amazing how a holy paladin is able to actually get out. And I really need to, I need to vanish here. I need, to, I need to vanish here. Vanish. Ugh. How long on a res? You are joking. Unbelievable. Uh, right, so let's go through a, things, a few things in Warlords of Draenor, shall we? And let's think about, uh, on a PvP basis, it sounds like there's going to be a new... I'm not sure if it's an open world or if it's an instant battleground. Uh, it's supposed to run much like the old AV did, in that it is like constantly up. So um, as soon as it finishes, you basically requeue and, and it starts all over again. But 
the, the objectives are so large that it should take a long time to complete. Which is wicked, because as a PvP player, if I'm not conquest capping, I've really got nothing to do. I think I've been to the Timeless Isle like, for, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes and the entire time. I just don't care. Couldn't care less about the PvE content. It bores the tits out of me. So, um, yeah, I'll, I'm well impressed that there's like a constant battle that um, the PvP people can get involved with. Also, as a recruitment officer for this guild, the Imperium, Arathor, Europe, come and say hello. We're fucking lovely. Um, yeah, uh, loads of old people. Oh, WoW players already, and it's what? Today I've recorded this on the Monday after BlizzCon, so it was like one, two days after BlizzCon. And, um... Am I about to go and do a cheeky cap? Oh, no, I just spotted a rogue there. That was a rogue. Oh, I decided to just ignore him, have I? What's going on here? A cheeky cap? There's no way I'm going to get this. There's no way. There's got to be a rogue waiting here. He must have seen me. I saw him. Yeah, there we go. Trinket, fucking run, done. Okay. Anyway, yeah. So this uh, this open this open PVP thing, I think it's gonna be brilliant because it gives the PVP people a chance to actually have stuff to do. And already, I don't know if it's like the old law or whatever, but these new people, or rather the old people, have been applying to the guild. We've got loads of applications in. It's really nice. Uh, subsequently, if you fancy joining the PVPerium fucking mob of a Monday and a Tuesday night, that's when we do our rate of battlegrounds. Then uh, come and say hello. We've got our guild. www dot. Um, that was a very close save there. That was. I got a feeling we weren't far from losing that. Um, the Imperium Guild dot com, and uh, you can come and have a look at us. If nothing else, just join the forum and come and say hello. Because uh, I don't really have a forum or I don't have Twitter or any of that bollocks. Um, so if you wanted to say hello, you you can't at the moment unless you go to the Imperium website. In which case, you can come and chat. Come and chat. Come and say hello. And uh, maybe, just maybe, you can join the guild. You can come and do some PvP with us. Come and lose. Or maybe you could actually say, you guys are shit and I uh, I know what I'm doing. Would you like to listen to me? And by golly, we would. For at least three or four minutes. Then somebody would call you Bellend. Everybody would ignore you. And we'd all run off doing our own thing. That's what's happened to most people that have come in to try to help us. But, um, but don't let that put you off. Come and say hello. Uh, oh, he's dead. Excellent. Anyway, what's going on in this battleground? We are 1,500 points to... S well, basically 800 points. We're doing quite nicely here. We just got lucky there and that a res turned up just in time to help me as I was protecting that flag. I reckon we must have only been half a second off that mage taking it. And now we're going to leg it all the way back to Waterworks where we've got yet another ink. We, are, we have been kind of struggling to kill their priests in this. Now, I noticed in the BlizzCon um, Arena Champions that uh, there wasn't a single Priest Healer in the whole tournament. Which, i got to be honest, it surprised me massively. Uh, I thought they were going to be great, but it turns out that actually in the Arena they're quite easy to be focused. But when paired with others, other healers, the damage mitigation is fucking amazing. Why is it that I can move at a normal speed through the water when feared, but as soon as I'm out of my fear I have to swim? That pisses me off. Right, what's going to happen with this paladin? Come on. Oh, fuck it, man. A bubble immediately. That's right, Smash. Don't go to somebody else. Ah, oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, there's another stunt. Back to the pally. That's it. Don't give up. Never surrender. Everybody else needs to be hitting that elemental shaman. Come on, fuck it into him. So it's what it looks like. Like <laughs> Another stunt. The original idea here, I've banged on about this a few times before actually. I try to hit a healer while the rest of the, the raid hits somebody else. And the idea being that he has he just accidentally clicked on that again. That is magic. They've done that so much this map. It's really helped us. Uh, the idea is that I'm able to um, hopefully lock down one of the healers. We we'll CC another one, and like something else gets killed. It just reduces the healing a little bit. That's been the plan. But uh, I've died a lot in this battleground. I haven't played very well at all. So I've managed to <laughs> I've managed to fuck up that entire strategy. I can't remember who was target calling for me when I wasn't here. But well done them. We actually don't have our gracious leader. Oh, we do. Lucifer, he's in here. He's re-rolled his boomkin. He's gearing up at the moment. That was painful. I tried to play my holy, uh, my rep paladin the other day to try and <laughs> try and help him boost. Oh my god, they've really removed all of my testicles. I my burst. I'm sure, like if you're well geared at the moment, then uh, the burst is probably adequate. But in trying to gear up, the survivability is fucking horrible, and my burst is average at absolute best. 
So look at that, some fantastic healing from our healing bods there. And our damage, as per usual, is relatively low. But, well done everybody. Thank you for watching, folks. I hope you enjoy this. See you again soon. Cheerio!